scenario, I am going to show you how to send bulk emails by using uh, AWS SES service and Django Python. OK, so, uh, for this requirement, we need to have AWS account for uh, using AWS SES service and we need to install Python and Django on our local machines. See, let uh, we have an Excel file. In that Excel file, we have some unwanted data, and uh, we know that we don't know that, and uh, we uh, we never check it. Okay, we need to just upload that file on portal, and it will clean the data. Okay, and it will validate the data, and it will send uh, the validated emails to customers. Okay, so for this requirement, I'm just showing you. Uh, see, this is my uh code okay let me show you quickly see i just written in views.py uh for that's the requirement i'm just running my project on the local okay so it's already running on local mission see it is running already so for now i'm just registering or if i see in my db I have two users. One is admin and user three. OK, uh, you can also register uh, with your email and you can send to customers. OK, for now, I'm just showing you for login. Admin and. See, this is email. Uh, just the user has login and this is the user ID. So now from this user, uh, he is going to upload some Excel data. So before going to upload, I'm just showing you the data. See, this is the data available here. See, uh, if you uh, kept like this unwanted emails, uh, it will also uh, filter and it will remove that. So now as of now, I have written query for duplicate data and removing spaces, uh, empty cells and uh, text data from this uh, file. And it will send emails to only unique emails, unique data. OK, first one is unique and this one is unique. And the remaining all data are the, the duplicated and this one is unique. OK, so now I'm trying to upload this file. Let me save and close this. And choose this file from this. See, this is the file. And I'm just giving like uh, E1. OK, description as even. Click on submit. See, user has been updated, uh, uploaded a file. You can check it on your DB. OK, see, user, uh, see here, user ID is going to display. See, user 37 user ID has, has updated two files uploaded two files. OK, you can check it out. Click on Excel. See, uh, it will show us the timestamp uh, earlier file also. So based upon your requirement, you can go for uh, sending emails. OK, or you can uh, remove the old data and you can keep uh, one data. OK, so for now, I'm just using the updated one. OK. Click on view by clicking on view. It will filter data. It will clean data and validate. Uh, it will show the validated data on the screen. OK, let me click on view. See the genuine emails. It is going to uh, the unique emails and validated emails are going to display here. OK, and the emails will be received from the current login user. Let me check it by going to emails. See, this is one of the email on Excel sheet. So now I'm just checking how the email is going to receive. OK, I think it is maybe spam, but it should not receive on spam. OK, somehow it is going to receive on the spam. See, the email is received. So now I need to check it out another email. OK. It also will be available on spam. I think so. Yeah. So it is showing like this. 
so it this this same mail login mail also will be received okay you can check it out the same here i think this is some different email yeah this is the mail it is showing some in the junk but the email has been received okay see it is not verified properly so it is getting on the spam details suppose if i click on login again let me check the username for another user user 03 right user 03 and i think the password is wrong yes see the user has been logged in now click on vendor and upload the i'm just giving e2 and choose the excel file now it will not uh, shows you the spam it will shows you on the inbox why because this is verified user the same these user also have uploaded two files you can check it on the timestamp and you can click uh, send emails now see this mail and these three emails will get from these emails. Okay. And it will available on the inbox. See, this one is info at ask info solutions. So it is received from this email, the login email, right? So like this, you can uh, check it out remaining emails. First one, second one. Let me quickly open those emails. Too. See admin uh, at the rate ask to email dot it. See it is received in the inbox. So we need to verify the users. Uh, you verify the emails. Okay, let me open the second third email. So like this, you can uh, send emails by using this script. Okay. See this is also received on the inbox. So uh, if you need to add one more email, you can add it. See, I'm adding the same email and click on submit. See, this email is added and this email will also receive some uh, promotional mails data. See, 512 is the timestamp, 513. See, it is received here with the timestamp. Okay, so like this, you can uh, send emails. To verify the emails on uh, AWS SES services. OK, see uh, for the cleaning and uh, validating data, I have written a script on obvious.py. See, this is the ad, ad email and eView is the cleaning email and sending emails. OK, after checking the email format and it is going to send the emails. So this is the script and this is the sending bulk emails by using Django, Python, and A by using AWS SES services. So, thank you. Please subscribe and